Hello, it's Tim Estrell, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. I'm here in Phoenix, Arizona. We're doing a lot of rock crawling with these new 2019, excuse me, 2019 Colorado ZR2 Bisons. These are the ZR2s that have a ton of AEV aftermarket components to them to make them better uh, rock crawlers and better for suited for doing this kind of off-road activities. New bumpers, lots more skid plates, a lot, you know, custom rock rails and things, uh, things that we've been beating on. So we're doing up this uh, kind of wash with some big boulders and uh, we're scraping quite a bit. So I'm gonna do some video here and then we'll do some more video and we'll tell you all about these new 2019 Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bisons. Okay, let's talk specifically what the Colorado ZR2 Bison really is. In simplest terms, it's a more rock crawling off-road version of the ZR2. You still have the diesel engine option, you still have the gasoline engine, you still have the two inch lift, you still have the wider track for the tires, you still have all those options that come standard in the ZR2, including the, the front and rear locking differentials, the Multimatic dampeners, but then you add all the off-road capability of the rock crawling protection plant with the AEV components. So American Expedition Vehicles, well-known aftermarket company, is adding their components to this coming stock off the factory line. And so what we're gonna have is you're gonna have five skid plates underneath the pickup. These are hot stamped boron steel, and the founder of AEV, Dave, told me specifically that this really surprised him how strong this steel was. And this guy knows how to break things, right? He's <laughs> he's head of a aftermarket uh, off-road company. And so these five skid plates cover the engine oil pan, the fuel tank, the transfer case, and the front locky differentials. Also added to this pickup are new AEV designed steel front and rear bumpers. And so they have additional protection. And you'll notice in the front of the bumper here, you're gonna have three um, pieces to it. You have a, it's a three piece bumper and you're gonna have a spot for a winch. It's gonna be ready to go to add your winch to the front of this, and it's got integrated uh, recovery points throughout the front and rear. You're gonna have fog lamps, standard fog lamps are built into the bumper. And so this vehicle is really ready to go. And so you're gonna have all this off-road protection, plus you have a really cool look. And so it's got the Chevrolet lettered grill on it that replaces the traditional bow tie, 31 inch Goodyear Wrangler Duratrack off-road tires, you have larger fender flares, and all new ZR2 specific 17 by 18 inch aluminum wheels. So you have a really cool look to it. You can add the uh, snorkel. It's gonna be more for airflow. It's not gonna be for water crossing. You can add that. That's an additional um, thing for it. So the vehicle is gonna go on sale January of 2019. You'll be able to go to dealer and pick it up. And this is the ZR2 Bison. So if you're doing a lot of rock crawling versus like say a uh, high speed desert racing, the Bison is something you want to consider. The ZR2 probably more for high speed off-road driving. So the 2019 Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison pricing is going to start at $48,045 for the V6 extended cab and $49,645 for the crew cab models. This is $5,750 more than the stock ZR2. Chevy believes this is still a good op value in the fact that when you add those aftermarket bumpers and skid plates and fender flares, and then you add the fact that they had AV components as well and a full factory warranty with installation, it's gonna be cheaper to buy the package with, his, with the Bison. For those wondering about on-road manners of the 2019 Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison, it's really not that bad. It's not as uh, great as you know a stock Colorado would be. You don't get that much tire noise as far as I could hear humming, and uh, it's got pretty good on-road manners. I wouldn't say it's the best on-road mannered off-road pickup in the segment. I would say it does the job pretty well because really what you're trying to do is you're trying to get off-road. 
So it's, you know, this, I don't think this is going to be a daily driver for many people. I think a lot of people are going to do um, a lot of fun with them on the weekends and maybe drive a short distance as working back. But if you're used to driving an off-road pickup, this is pretty typical of most off-road pickups. The uh, dampener system, though, does a really good job of making it a little bit better than, you know, what you would anticipate, as f especially compared to uh, pickups of your, of older off-road pickups. But really, you know, this is where it's at. It's off the dirt. It's off having fun. It's getting those uh, wheels to go up and down. It's getting the dirt. It's going through the mud. That's where this pickup's going to really be a star. All right, just went through the wash section. We're going to do this hill. Uh, kind of driver's choice told us I'm going to do it in 4 high and see how far I can get. I got front lockers. I got rear lockers. I got a diesel. I got uh, four low I can get into as well um, to get to activate the lockers. I got a really capable vehicle. I, we were talking about earlier, I got boron uh, steel plates below. Uh, they're a new kind of metal. They're the skid plates. And they're really hard, really hard to like damage misshape it. It's just, it's a tough thing to do. So uh, really capable there. Um, really capable of the rock rails. We went through that section, hit them quite a bit. You know, the reality with this is it's going to be a low volume highly lustable lust after vehicles could be a niche vehicle and people are going to be you know going to the dealers and buying these and take them on a trail it's, it's a whole built not bought kind of argument going again but if you have this really capable little truck and you can just load up with stuff you can tow with it you can go out and go camping and go play in the water then go off-roading it really opens up your lot opportunities to do a lot of exploring and really enjoy you know owning a vehicle and, and having a lot of fun with it uh, we're going through some trails that you know you may say jeep only but this truck's doing it. So really impressed with this truck. So for more Pickup Truck Plus SUV news, make sure you check us out on PickupTruckTalk.com. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, it's all Pickup Truck Talk. Uh, make sure you send hate mail to Tim at PickupTruckTalk.com. Love reading them. Put hate mail comments below. Make sure I delete them. <laughs> so having a good time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you down the road. You might need to lock your disc.